Hi, this is Emily Lee, part of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm sharing a paper smooches card that features the Lots of Love stamp set. These extra large sentiments really double as images, and there are so many ways you can use them. I love the different styles of hearts, too. There are also two sizes of lips, X's and O's, plus a little B, bird, and action trail. This stamp set is all you need for expressing love this Valentine's Day and throughout the year. On my card, I'll be using the giant love word, along with a secondary sentiment from Incognito. I'm also going to feature one of the glasses dies, as well as the tiny hearts dies. All of these products are from the most recent release. I'm starting with a pre-cut black note card as my base. I've cut a white panel that's a quarter of an inch smaller than the base. I end up cutting this down significantly smaller. I switched directions so many times while making this card, and I was glad that I started off with a larger panel. I position all the stamps and dies on the panel before stamping. This helps me visualize how the final design will turn out. Now I'm stamping the large love word with Versafine Onyx Black Pigment Ink. I want it to be as dark and bold as possible since there will be so many other elements around it. I've die cut a pair of glasses from Audrey Blue cardstock and lay it across the word where I originally planned for it. That small circle inside the bubble letter will be one of the eyes. Now I'm going to stamp the secondary sentiment just below the main word. I'll be using Audrey Blue ink to coordinate with the die cut glasses. I started to mask off the little heart that's part of the sentiment, but decided it would be easier to cut the stamp apart. I know it can be scary to do this with your stamps, but if you do it so that the pieces fit back together in their original position, there's no harm in it and it really makes multicolored inking so much easier. After I remove the heart, I stamp the sentiment on the panel. Then I take the heart and stamp it in dull pink. Next, I die cut a few of the tiny hearts from coordinating doll pink cardstock. I'm also going to stamp the large lips on a separate piece of cardstock and apply glossy accents. I'm going to let this dry while I work on the rest of the card. I need an eye for the other lens, so I'm going to mask off everything from that love word except for the inner circle. I'm just going to take a pencil and trace the inside of the lens to help me position that other eye while I'm stamping. My pencil lines weren't dark enough and it was difficult to see, so I just placed the die for a split second before stamping. Then I'm going to use that little O that is meant to accompany the little X. I'm going to use that as the irises and stamp that in Audrey Blue. After that, I take a moment to erase the pencil lines. I use my quick stick tool to pick up the die cut hearts and place them around the sentiment. I swap out different shapes to get the exact look I want, and now I'm replacing one of the die cuts with a stamped heart. I'm using that heart I cut out from the secondary sentiment. Once I'm satisfied with the shapes and position of the hearts, I apply a small dab of glossy accents to the backs and adhere them to the card. During this time, I decide that the die cut glasses don't have enough impact with all that's going on. I die cut two more layers and glue them all together. Now the glasses really pop. I'm bringing in the lips to show you how it'll complete the face. The layer of glossy accents isn't completely dry, so I'll come back to that. Next, I place the black card base underneath, and this helps me visualize the final design. I'm going to use pattern papers from Amy Tangerine's stitched 6x6 paper pad in colors that coordinate with my stamped sentiments and images. Since I'm going to layer them behind this panel, I need to trim it down. Instead of using a paper trimmer, I'm hand cutting all these papers for a more whimsical and carefree design. My friend Jocelyn Olson is known for her beautiful hand cut layers, and she's the one who inspires this technique whenever I use it in my work. Jocelyn almost always uses machine stitching on her work, but I'm going to add some die cut stitching using one of the stitch dies. There's too much white space at the bottom, and I also felt that I needed to ground the sentiment somehow. This is one of those designs where I didn't really know how it would look in the end. I just added more elements as needed until I was satisfied. So after adding the stitch line at the bottom of the panel, I glued that final heart in place. Even with all those layers, I still felt like something was missing. Jocelyn often uses torn tissue or doilies in between her paper layers, and I love how natural it looks. I haven't been able to use doilies successfully, but I love vellum and was inspired to use this glittered vellum as that extra layer. 
I simply tore a corner from its 12 by 12 sheet and now I'm placing it between the two pattern papers to determine where I need to tear the other two edges. The papers were moving around a bit too much so I decided to pause and adhere some of the layers first. As I'm tearing, I realize that it doesn't look good when it's too neat. I make little adjustments here and there, but still try to keep it natural. It's harder than I think, and I didn't like those three peaks at the bottom, so I tore them right off. With that big chunk missing, I thought I ruined the panel, but it turns out to be perfect, so I quickly adhere it before I change my mind again. Sometimes it's better to just be done with it. As you can see, I leave more of the vellum sticking out of the top and sides than at the bottom. This is so that it doesn't interfere with the card when it's standing up and on display, but I also feel that it looks better this way, especially with that stitch line. Now I can trim out the glossy lips and adhere it to the card along with the glasses. At this point I feel that the eyes are still missing something. Of course they are. I need a pupil right in the center, so I'm going to use a little dot stamp from Incognito. It's meant to be used as an eye in that stamp set, so that's perfect. Since I already glued the glasses onto the card, I have to use a tiny acrylic block to stamp it. I have to use the corner of the block and angle it slightly to make sure that it reaches down inside the lens. I also decide to add eyelashes from the same set to make the face more feminine. Now my card is done. This video is also part of the Seasons Givings blog hop, which means I have a fabulous giveaway. Be sure to visit my blog link for all the details on how to win. There are 133 participants in this hop and everyone has their own giveaway to ring in the new year. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I use in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my work. Thanks so much for watching!